Hello friends, today I have three sets of cards on the table. Anyone that you are connected to, anyone your eyes is focused on, that is the card you should pick because that is the card your spirit guide wants you to have a message about, okay? And this card, if it resonates to you, know that this card, the message is for you. If it doesn't resonate to you, know that it's not for you, okay? Because this card is for some people, not for everyone, okay? For, for me to connect directly to your situation, to yourself, to you, you have to book a private reading. Then I can be able to connect to your spirit guide to be able to know what is going on around you. If you don't resonate to this card, just say, uh, keep following my pick a card reading. I'm sure you'll be able to pick a card from some of the cards that I'll, I'll be reading that will connect to you. Okay. So let's just focus on this table. I have uh, the first card is with one carry, the second card with two carries and the third card with three carries. So I'll just give you a few seconds to pick any of this card. And before I reveal what is on the card, the message the spirit wants to tell you today. Okay, we're going to start with card number one. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to open this card. So let's read together what spirit have to say for people that picked card number one. Okay. Okay, the first card, this first, the first card is saying the runner, running in a codependent relationship, fear of intimacy, listening to ego. So this, this relationship that you are right now, the person that you are in a relationship with is someone that is very afraid of relationship. So they are very afraid of intimacy. Okay, it's not that they don't love you, but they, they are just afraid of commitment. This is why they are always running, why they are not uh, committing to you, why they're not trying to announce the relationship as official. Okay, there are some people that are very afraid of relationship. In their mind, they might want a relationship, but once they meet someone that really wants the relationship, they, they are afraid of uh, commitment, they are afraid of uh, settling with somebody and losing their freedom, you know? So this person has ego to commit right now, okay? Let's see the second card that came with it. And this has to represent you. You are the chaser. You're the one chasing this relationship, okay? You are chaser in a dependent relationship and fear of abandonment issue. So you are the one that is afraid of losing this relationship. You're depending so much on this relationship, okay? So this is talking about you. You're the chaser and he's the runner or she's the runner. You're the chaser. You know, it depends who you're dating. So this card here, it's saying not enough, okay? Frustrated in a relationship, lack of confidence, self-sabotage, fear, ego issues, jealousy. So because this guy or this woman is not giving you the attention you want, they are not trying to commit to you. So this is the feelings that you're having right now. You're frustrated because you're the chaser and the person is running and is afraid of committing. So it's, this is for you to be able to evaluate this relationship. If you're in a relationship and the person does not want to commit to you and you're, keep, you're the one making all the effort, you're the one trying to fix this relation, trying to make it work, and the person is not doing anything. Instead of, instead of uh, them to work with you, they are running away. So it's left for you to decide, is this relationship really good for me? Is it uh, good for my uh, effort is it good for me to commit uh, waste my time in this kind of thing so i will say you make the decision yourself this card okay this is card number one for those that pick number one now we're going to bring card number two here in the middle so let's read card number two to see what spirit have to say for those people that pick card number two okay so i take this card out and then we're going to open card number two to see okay what spirit, the message spirit have for those people that picked card number two, okay. So the first card is saying meeting someone new, date, you meeting someone new, dating, get back out there, plan, set a date. Okay, this card is um, saying that you're going to meet someone new. Okay, or you're going to get back out there, like you've been single for a while, you're going to get out there, you know go out date new persons that is what your spirit guide is trying to tell you that you should go out instead of staying and um, thinking if you stay by yourself obviously 
you're not going to find someone in order to be able to meet someone you have to start socializing going to places where you meet your id, ID partner so you create the opportunity for you to meet uh, the person that you want to meet or you go out with friends that they try to make yourself happy don't be sad okay um, singleness uh, is not the end of the world there are some people that are very happy being single okay but right now your spirit are telling you right right now that it's time for you to go out there and start meeting people okay through meeting people you'll be able to meet uh, someone okay this is girl talk card time with friends moving on moving on happily okay saying good living in a moment having fun okay this is a card that is telling you that you should go out with friends Okay, or if, if you've decided that you want to be single for right at this moment, you don't want any relationship, you should start to still go out, socialize with your friends. Eh? You should be happy single. You know, that's what I'm saying. There are some people that are happy single. Mm? So go out there, socialize, and enjoy the moment. Live, living in the moment. Have fun. Okay, so that you're, you don't get depressed just being by yourself alone. So your spirit guide is telling you to go out, okay? Self-indulgence, -indulg okay? Focus on, on self, self-worth, time to heal, shadow work, self-appreciation. This is the card is also telling you to take care of yourself, okay? Go out there, take care of yourself, go and do your manicure, pedicure, make your hair look good. Go out with friends. If you are the kind of person that don't like uh, socializing with uh, a lot of friends, you can go out by yourself. Have a drink. Go to the beach if you have a beach by yourself. Do something like do shopping. Do something that will make you happy. That is what spirits are telling you. Okay? It could just be a casual relationship, but you don't want commitment. Okay? But have fun. Do something that will make you happy. So this is the message your spirit guests are telling you. Okay? I put this card there and I'm going to bring the card number three for those people that pick that picked the card number three. Let's see what spirits what message spirit have for you guys today. Let me take this card car is out. Okay, and we'll open the card to see what message spirit have. Okay. Yeah. So card number three is saying separation sadness missing you thinking about you yearning unsure of future so there yeah, this is for people that pick this number uh, trade card this spirit are trying to bring about your separation there's something has happened in your relationship that has caused separation it could be friendship it could be relationship it could be a family um relationship you know some type, type of relationship that you guys are separated, but the person you're separated uh, from is missing you, is thinking about you. This person wants you, obviously, more than you want uh, them. <laughs> they like to be in your presence. They like your company more than you do, okay, for them. And then, um, let's see number two. Uh, card that followed this, okay? And I think the person did something to you that your heart broken, okay? The person has done something to hurt your feelings. So deeply hurt, sad, separation, break up, feeling lost, grieving, mourning. So you see, the person has done something to you that is making you really feeling bad. This is why you separated from the person. But the person still have feelings for you. So you're the one who is feeling really sad in this relationship right now. The person is still thinking about you. The person still loves you and misses you, okay? Okay, this is the text card that came along with this. And the card, the phone is card. New face, re rekindle, renew, transformation, growth, changed mind. So although you, you are separated from this person, okay, you guys are going to get back together. That is what you're saying. But there is going to be a new phase. You're going to rekindle this relationship again, okay? Which is going to um, create a transformation and growth in the relationship. So obviously, whatever the person did to make you uh, sad, okay it's going to he or she is going to um, um change they are going to do something to prove to you that they can change so they can obviously come back into your life okay that's what the spirit are trying to tell you so this relationship although you're separated is going to come back um you're going to get back together in a better way okay so this is the message i have for you guys today bye for now